Hey, Backyard Explorers, we've been pounding the pavement this morning. We left early Friday morning. Um, I've been dying to do this trip with my family. Two years ago, Mike and I went and did a trip where we went from Goblin Valley all the way to Cathedral Valley um, on off-road trails. It's a really beautiful scenic trip, and I wanted to share it with the family. So I've got the whole crew. We've got all three kids and the dog, and we've just made it past Wild Horse Canyon Trailhead and just got on the dirt. We're just stopping for some lunch real quick, and then we're going to hit the trail for the rest of the day. This would actually make a really great campsite, but we've just barely hit the dirt, so we're just gonna stop for some lunch and then hit the trail for a few hours, at least four or five hours. Can you say hi, Charlotte? Huh, this is Charlotte's second trip. Hopefully she sleeps a little bit better this time than last time. Having a little lunch break and the boys are in their favorite spot to eat up on top of the roof rack. Night. And we're having Lunchables. <laughs> Gourmet Lunchables. Mm. After a quick stop for lunch, we were all anxious to do some off-roading. After spending the past three and a half hours on the pavement, the winding trail of Wild Horse Road was just what we needed. The past month or so has been extremely rainy and most of the day was spent in overcast cloud cover. As you can see, the road which runs down a wash still had some small pools of water from the recent rainstorms. Each time we are in southern Utah, Lauren and I spend a lot of time talking about geology. We both wish we knew a lot more as we try to figure out which each layer is comprised of. I am always blown away at the different streaks that are visible within the rock. If you know a good book about Utah geology, let us know in the comments. Eventually, the trail climbs its way up and out of the wash, then we spent the next few miles driving over rolling desert hills and some of the best views in every direction surrounding us. Can you believe this area? It's mind boggling to me just how stunning it is. If you know what it is in the soil here that makes it so that nothing can grow, let me know in the comments.
Muddy Creek River. When we crossed this last time, it was like two inches deep. It's so dirty that you can't actually see if it's deep or not. But now it's only like, I don't know, maybe a foot deep at the deepest. After crossing Muddy Creek River, we stopped to let the kids out to play and throw rocks in the water. Of course, Molly jumped right in, so we let her run alongside for a bit to use up some energy and dry off a bit. Even though I have done this trip before, there was something extra special about sharing it with my entire family. I do a lot of these trips with just my boys, in part to give my wife a break from the kids, but also because taking Charlotte is still something we're working on as she doesn't do great at night. But as she gets older and better at camping, I'm looking forward to taking the entire family on a lot more of these trips. See the butte back there. It's pretty cool. Guess they did some coal mining and stuff out in it. It's incredible to me just how unique this terrain is. Utah is, so di <coughs> Utah is so diverse from high mountain forests to the Red Rock in southern Utah, but this desolate, moon-like terrain is among the most unique I have ever seen. There are several sections of this trip where you run into areas just like this, completely void of any vegetation. With most of the day spent, we started looking for a good place to camp on BLM land just outside of the National Park. Well, we have finally made it to camp. And actually right when we pulled in, it started raining, but we're starting to see a little bit of blue sky, so that should be good, getting ready to cook some dinner. So, not usual for us to have the tent, but we need it for all of us. Boys are just out here playing. Just check out how cool this spot is. These hills slash mountains are so crazy. Nothing seems to be able to grow on them. Beautiful little kind of valley campsite. We're finally getting some time to explore around camp and Charlotte was a pro. We've been in the Jeep basically since about eight this morning from eight till about six and about five and a half hours of that was off road which was cool so she did well boys did well we found a really cool campsite just trying to explore some of the cool stuff around it check out this bridge here she did fall off through it this thing is cool i can't wait to drive over it tomorrow should we go back and see if dinner's ready just chowing down on dinner the boys here are eating grilled cheese and i'm eating like a fancy panini sandwich so it's like and cheese. Charlotte's trying to steal all of the food she's kind of a little scavenger yeah like a raccoon you can cut it. You can cut it. 